Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be wrapping up fixing this automatic transmission line issue I've been having. So hopefully I'm gonna add in some uh, new automatic transmission fluid since I'm pretty sure that it's like almost like a quart low or so. So I'm gonna add that in and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the fan and start it and see if it leaks or not. So hopefully everything works out and yeah, we can start <laughs> and drive this thing. So as you can see, the belt's on, everything's wrapped up and tight. And the only thing left to do is just put the fan in. But the weirdest thing is when I was putting the belt back on, the routing of the belt was completely different from what I saw online. So I didn't bother to take a picture of how it was routed. So I just said, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and check Google when I uh, finish to go put the belt on. I'll just check that. And the first image I got, the routing was, I tried using that routing, the belt would not go on for nothing. So I was like sitting there for like 30 minutes trying to figure out what the heck. But I found out that there's another diagram that's circulating that's wrong and that's the one I got. And yeah, so right, it's pretty much down here at the bottom that's different. So I'll put up a diagram so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you're ever trying to put the belts on and it's not going on, that's most likely what your issue is. So I want to shout out Jonathan down there in Miami. He went ahead and set me up this uh, ZF Lifeguard stuff. This is like the royal jelly of like oil, the OEM stuff, and some gaskets and stuff for the transmission. Oh man, I'm greatly appreciative, man. Thanks a lot. So I have the, my pump, hand pump, eight millimeter. And yeah, that's pretty much all I need for now. So when I'm on the car, the way you're gonna go ahead and get this uh, removed is you have to put it, you have to use one of these because if you use a socket or anything, it's not gonna fit. So stick it in there and then you turn this way. So towards the back of the car. If you try to go the other way, it's gonna be uh, tightening it, and you're gonna have, pretty much gonna go ahead and strip that bolt. If you strip that bolt, you're gonna have a bad time. So where's the part where we have a good time? So go ahead and uh, stick it in, make sure it's flush and snug, and then turn it this way. up now ironically it only took like half a quart so i'm pretty happy with that for it to be filled up i started it and it didn't uh leak out so it's like dry as a bone so i'm pretty happy about that so we're pretty much finished so i'm just gonna go ahead and put the fan back on and yeah put it back off of the jacks and Let's go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. Ollie? It's raining sideways! Sounds rough, Ollie. Do you have an umbrella? Had one! Where is it? Inside out, two miles away! Is there anything we can do for you? Bring me some soup! What kind? Chunky! As it begins to sideway rain. Well, anyways, got it back in before it started to rain. Drives just as good as it did before, but uh, one key thing is I realized is that one of my tires is flat. So this one over here is, has a slow leak on there. So I added some air to it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take it off, bring it to the tire shop and see what's going on. Most likely it's just the uh, nail in it or something because there's like a construction around my neighborhood. And I believe that's what caused it. So the car is up and running now. Everything is working right on it. Uh, transmission shifting smoothly. Ironically, it's gonna be back up in the air and I'm gonna go ahead and do a mod that is actually fun for me. So it's like, yeah, it doesn't have to do nothing with maintenance. It don't have to do anything else. All that's taken care of right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a fun mod, finally. So yeah, see y'all next video and thanks for watching.